Drex here from Drex Factor Poise, sharing with you the love of poise spinning and flow arts to benefit your body and brain. And today, we're gonna dive into some anti-bridge transitions because I know from the analytics on that video I dropped a couple weeks ago that y'all are hungry for it. Before we dive in, I just wanna give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Fests, Flow Toys, Juggling Calling, Pyroterra Light Toys, Spinballs, and Ultrapoi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all of these amazing businesses and what they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I have down in the description of this video. And special thanks to non-business friends of the channel, Johnny Howard, Lane Machinsky, and Pekka Pekkonen. Thank you so very much for your support for my work and my mission. So, for a video that I literally just pull out of my butt at the last second that video on anti-brid alignments turned out to be really popular so uh, i'm going to capitalize on that and i'm going to demonstrate a combo for you all that utilizes the knowledge that i was putting forth in that video to give you a practical application of many of those transitions now it should be said that this is a combo that is going to involve a lot of both really really intricate tricks as well as intricate transitions so i'm going to call this intermediate to advanced and you're going to need the following tricks under your belt in order to get it down the body tracing hybrid known as the Nevisol, a cat eye versus isolation anti-brid, the cap versus pendulum anti-brid, linear isolations, and stall chasers. I'll include links to tutorials for all of these tricks down in the description as well as up in the cards if you are watching this video on YouTube. I'll share the combo at full speed, then break it down for you step by step before showing it to you again in slow motion. <laughs> Goodness, so what have we gotten ourselves into here? Um, this combo starts off, of course, with the Nevisol, which is one of my favorite body tracing moves of all time and one that I still do constantly. There's something about that motion of having the hands running up the body that I just absolutely adore about this. You know what else is really cool about it? If you stop your hands midway up it, you wind up in a crosser. Now, what's important about this being a crosser is that it automatically puts your hands in positions where they're even with either shoulder, just like you do in those shoulder-aligned anti-brids. This transition is kind of subtle, so I'm gonna show it to you from two different angles. As we're going up with this Nevisol body tracing uh, hybrid, I wanna take that midpoint where I get about to my shoulders here, and rather than have my right hand poi cut behind my shoulders, I'm I'm instead going to bring it up and I can do this one of two ways I can either have my right hand come underneath my left or I can do a little bit of a change and have my right hand come up in front of my left now the line is gonna be cleaner if my right hand is in front but it also like kind of a little bit breaks the spell of that body tracing hybrid it looks less like I'm trying to get into that if uh, I do have my right hand in front it looks like I'm trying to do something different there if on the other hand I do keep my right hand behind it means that I have to unwrap and change the orientation of my hands in order to get there um, this might not turn out how you would hope because it means that you have to get your hands and poi moving around each other in such a way that the isolating poi that is the left hand one can go flying off very very quickly it takes a, it, it takes a, a, a very very light touch there here's what this looks like from the side so as I'm going up and going up I have the option of right hand in front to get to that position or I have the option of right hand behind to get to that position. Do you see how even when my right hand is behind, I'm making sure that my right hand poi is in front and that gets me to the position that I want to be in the end where my left hand is behind my right hand? Um, it looks like this 
when you are doing it in front of you. One of the key changes that happens when we make this transition is we get into this spot where we have our hands and pull even with our shoulders, right? Um, now, this is totally the alignment that we want for isolation versus cat eye. The trick is that we have to really change how we're thinking about the movement of our hands in the process. Rather than moving the hands in tandem as they would in that hybrid, we immediately have to shift gears into creating that poi head to hand alignment that we have in isolation versus cat eye. Um, it, it, this is easier if you know where you're going to arrive to, but uh, it is also somewhat of a challenge to get your brain working in these two different spaces so rapidly back to back. So we got to isolation versus cat eye, and it was lovely. Now we're going to have to make our next transition, going from isolation versus cat eye to cap versus pendulum. Now the good news is here that we automatically have a spot where this is not so terribly difficult to achieve, because of course our hands are crossing our body center at two different points points in the hand path of the isolation, right? So as we're doing that isolation, I usually like to make this transition happen when we're at the bottom here, when both of the poi are pointing down. And literally the only thing that changes is rather than being in an isolation at the bottom, I just let the poi kind of fall out into a pendulum instead. Uh, it's a little trickier with the cat eye though, because when I get to the bottom, I have to now start treating that like the pedal of an anti-spin in order to get into this uh, cat versus pendulum spot here. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and switch up the orientation of our cap. We start on bottom and we're gonna wind up on top. Once again, it's still pendulum versus cap. I'm just doing my cap across the top instead of across the bottom. But I'd still get these lovely moments of contact between the hand and poi at either end. Trick is, uh, I wanna grab that moment when I have my uh, cap hand, that is my right hand, going up in the anti-spin right there as it's going from right to left. When that happens, boom, I can now take both of the poi into linear isolations. Let me show you that one more time. I'm going back and forth, and when I hit the top point here, you see how the two poi are oriented as though they're in split time, same direction already? I'm just taking that momentum and pulling them in center to complete the linear isolation pattern. Now from our linear isolations here, our last step is that when our hands go out to their native sides, it happens right here. I'm gonna take that as a moment to stall my right hand poi down and my left hand poi up. This is what puts me in position to go back to doing hand together uh, poi trick orientations here and gives me a stall chaser to wrap the whole thing up. So let's look at all that from the top. All right, so I'm gonna do the nevisole. I'm gonna do it three times, once, twice, and then the third time, boom, I go into isolation versus cat eye. From here I drop into cap versus pendulum, switch to the cap on top, going back and forth, back and forth until boom, I head into my linear isolations and stop with the poi out and go into stall chasers before finishing the whole thing off. Let's check that out again in slow motion. I know this one is a challenge, but I think it looks particularly cool and I hope that you do too. So show me your version of this. Please uh, publish a video of yourself doing this combo to social media and make sure to tag me. It really makes my day when I see people applying the stuff that I'm teaching out there. It really, really, really makes me happy. Um, so whatever platform you happen to be on that is of your choice, whether it be like Instagram, TikTok, um, YouTube, Facebook, etc. post your video, make sure to tag me. I will come check it out. I cannot wait.
lightweights. If you got anything out of this video, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, both to help other people find it, as well as to help my channel grow. This video would not be possible were it not for the kind support of all of these wonderful people right here. These are my Flow patrons over on Patreon, and they, along with the people listed down in the description, help to make this video and all the videos on this channel possible. Thank you one and all for your wonderful support. Do you like the videos that I produce? Do you like my flow sessions? Do you like my videos on flow arts culture? And yes, indeed, my combo tutorials. I'm on a mission to try and bring poise spinning and flow arts to the wider world and help people connect with their bodies and their brains. So help me do it. Head on over to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and sign up. There you can get access to a whole host of awesome rewards, uh, plus which you'll be helping me out in my mission. So go check that out, please and thank you. Do you have a particular trick or type of trick that you'd like to see me make a combo tutorial on? Leave me a comment and let me know. Uh, I'm always down for a challenge and I have actually made up a couple combo tutorials that are built around specific tricks. So uh, throw me your suggestions. Um, I will go ahead and leave a link to a playlist of other combo tutorials that I have done down in the description as well as up on screen if you are watching this video on YouTube. Make sure to get outside and flow this weekend and I will see you with a brand new uh, video on Monday. See you then. Peace.